Get pass is deflected by Saar, and here come the Demon Deacons. Down low it goes, lands good for Saar, and he'll get a free throw. Hey, Saar, you see him on the right wing. The catch, the gather, and the finish. Maple really wants him to be a double-double type guy. Saar kicks it. Round from the corner, sticks it. Nice recognition by Saar being able to get over to Sean D. Brown. Definitely helped them to be able to, to keep this game close. Saar zips it across the lane. Tory Johnson lays it in. Even if he makes it, obviously, Pittsburgh hasn't shot the three well this year, but the past week they have. Make it a three-point game. He missed it. Six seconds for Pittsburgh. McGowan's down by two. McGowan's rejected by Saar. Wake Forest with .2 seconds left will shoot free throws after the gigantic block from Olivier Saar. Knowles turn it over after the miss. Swooping in. Too strong and then a follow. So Wake on the run, and it was Neath who yep. missed the first shot, Mike. Yeah, and but then the good follow. Wow, that was <laughs> that was over a few people. Here's Childress. Backdoor lob and dunk for Olivier Saar. But the dime for the finish by Saar. Saar will swing it. Masood will drill that from three-point territory. Um, and they probably are high, like a 2-2-1 two -two zone here. here wow, how about the post passing in there? Zone. Yeah, no, that, he's skilled, man, and that's a left-hand hook pass. Sorry to the post against t Dye. Saar got fouled when he scored. What a move by Saar. Watch his jab step. Kids out there, you got the ball. Take your time. Square up. Keep it up. Jab step hard. Now you've moved the defense. You're in rhythm, and the defense fouls. Watch his jab step. It's so good. Why is it so important here? So important because it makes Enoch move. Watch. Enoch moves. He's off balance. He's on the floor with two personal fouls. We'll keep an eye on him. Ball knocked away from DeVoe. It stays with Georgia Tech. Shot clock doesn't reset. It hadn't been much of a factor for Wake Forest. Hands it off to Childress. Gets inside. Finger on his short. But Johnny on the spot is Saar. And a foul. By Olivier Saar. Brandon Childress getting to the rim. Unable to finish with Saar there to back it up. But they've done a great job of swarming him every time he's gotten a look. And it's been all defensive players on deck, as you see Kerry now with the opportunity. Great block. Calling card for this year's Blue Devils is defense. Two cup by two again. Muscling inside. And that young man's had a really fine game, keeping them in it. He is, and now back into single digits. A nine-point game. Swatted away once again to seven-footer Saar. Possession game, but you need a quick score. Doesn't have to be a three, but needs to be a quick score for the Deeks. Need a lot of dribbling there, a lot of time off the clock. Flips it up for Sar, and he'll slam it in. 14 from the free throw line. We told you that Wake shot 50 free throws against Duke and made 37. And it's Sar again operating in the paint. Talking to Mike Blair, we really felt like he was a part in this program, was a part of the conference. We got to get some shots up early in this game, try to get some threes cooking. Wake Forest has to defend the three point shot better. Great look inside to the basket. How about the penetration? Then they find Saar at the dunk spot, especially on senior night, right? Here's Jacoby Heath, Saar the dunk. Inside early, little ball screen and roll on the empty side. That means there's no help. Pip off to a hot start, though. They made five out of six to begin this game. Saw rolling inside. They're not going to stop that. Oh.